Hey guys, Mark Istook here with Laura Navio, who is the Senior Vice President of Global Sales and Marketing for Sony Online Entertainment. Did I get that all that right? That's right, perfect. Well, I know you guys uh, just announced that uh, Planet Side 2 is coming to the PS4, which uh, you have to be tremendously excited about. We are, we're super thrilled. Um, I think that everybody is, the whole world is excited about the PlayStation 4, but the press conference yesterday and the power of the console. And I think what we're particularly proud of is that two MMOs, both Planet Side 2 as well as DC Universe Online, will be available later this year. And um, they're both free to play, and that's a little bit of a novel concept for the consoles. What are some of the things that Planet Side 2 fans can look forward to with this new iteration? Planet Side 2 is um, really focused on esports right now, and so. You know, we update the game every two weeks. There's constantly new content, new features. We've been adding um, a tremendous amount to the end game and sort of evolving what it means to be battling on your axis. But I think people are excited about the prospect of playing Planet Side 2 competitively. And I think that that's going to be really big for the console audience. And I know how excited you guys are too about uh, the DC Universal online experience as well. I mean, again, what can uh, gamers look forward to there? Well, DC Universe Online evolves every day. I mean, that the power of that franchise and that IP and the license is so huge, and there's so many stories to tell. I know you guys are also really excited about Dragon's Profit, and I'm over here watching people sitting down, uh, kind of enjoying it. What is so cool about this game gamers can look for? Yeah, I think Dragon's Prophet is um, an amazing MMORPG. It's out of Taiwan, the folks that made Runes of Magic, and it's an awesome quality. But I think what's so unique and different about it is this whole notion of that it's all about dragons. Um, hundreds and hundreds of dragons that you train and you fight and become part of your character's powers. I feel like we saw, uh, you know, vampires were very big for a while, and we saw that in like a lot of different genres. Zombies are kind of having their resurgence. Is it time for dragons to kind of take over? I don't think that our fascination with dragons is sort of a new one, right? I mean, they've been, they've piqued our interest as human beings forever. Laura, thank you very much for hanging out with me. A lot to be excited about uh, here at Sony Online Entertainment and at E3 as well. And if you, of course, want to keep up with all of the cool happenings here at E3, keep it right here at E3Insider.com.